Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, super thrilled to have you all here. And I've got a cool lock, uh, well, ready to go. It's uh, one that Fast Charlie sent me, and it was pinned by a uh, great uh, newer lock picker uh, with an awesome channel out there. Well, they both got pretty good channels, so go check them out. Um, this one's by Albert LaBelle, and it's called Reckless. It's a, uh, if I can get the key out, it's a Schlage type keyway. And uh, let's get everything adjusted here. And we'll see about picking this bad boy. Um, one thing I got to look out for right away is, uh, see that really, really low cut there on pin four? Yeah, pin four. That's going to make picking uh, pin five a little bit difficult. Uh, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 15,000 Sparrows steep hook. Generally a, a pretty good uh, go-to pick for uh, getting uh, to some high cut back pins like that. And it might even allow me to pick from the bottom here. I know these Schlegs, especially the uh, off-branded ones, sometimes have a little bit bigger gap. And it looks like this one's going to work. All right, it's so cool. Let's uh, get the camera adjusted here just a little bit. And what do you guys think about right there? Two times magnification, probably good enough. Yeah. Okay, so 50,000 pry bar and the 15,000 steep hook. We'll click from one. And then there's the trouble with this pick. It likes to slide off of pins. Two is heavily bound, so I'm going to cock him back and come back and hit one again. Let me do the same thing with two again. There must be some undercutting in chamber two. Okay, I might have him by now. Okay, let's bypass four, straight to pin five. Okay, I got a click. Let's come back up front. A little click out of one. Nothing out of two. A little click out of three. There we go, a little click out of five, and it gave me a tiny turn on the core. Um, just to try to kind of make things a little bit easier while I mess with these front pins, I'm going to go use that little tool. I'm going to switch picks. Okay, let's go further back now. All right, I might have gotten pin five. And I got a puppy dog with separation anxiety wanting to come over here and join the fray. Oops, I dropped some pins down. Uh, let's turn this around and just go uh, counterclockwise. Man, that pin two is a beast. There's pin five. Pin one put me in a nice deep false set. Okay. 
I got a little bit greedy there on one. And let's see here. Back to my false set. We'll click from five. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. Uh, three's binding. A little counter on three here. Okay, I think I got it. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. Nothing on three. Nothing on four. We'll click for five, and I'm deepened up my false set. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. Nothing on three. Another little click from five. I'm getting some counter rotation on five here. Okay, there's a click. Okay, and I just brushed one, pulling my pick out, and went straight back into another false set. That's counter rotation on one. Let me check these other pins. Okay, come back to one. And I'm going to go ahead and use my technique that will allow me to control that pin just a little bit better. Come on. Really slow here. Yes, Ruby, I'll be with you shortly. Just can't stay on it with that pick. Um, here's, here we go. This ought to do fine. Ah, there we go. Nice lock, Albert LaBelle. Very nice. Oh, lots of counter rotation, lots of feedback. A couple of places where I lose feedback. Didn't want to pick clockwise, but I got her counterclockwise. All right, so let's get the pinning tray out here and uh, see what madness uh, this lock holds. I'm expecting uh, some pretty good modifications based off of what I felt. Um, I do have the key right here. You guys can tell it is picked at 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and lock her up, see how the key works. Smooth as a baby's bottom. All right, uh, my flathead screwdriver, which was missing in a previous video, was actually laying in the same spot where I just picked it up from. <laughs> All right, this follow rod will work, but I've got to use a shim. Also, guys, let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to actually, in the next one of these I print out, I'm going to sand it smooth and put a primer coat on it. And uh, I'm thinking about doing uh, like a homemade uh, DIY hydro dip on it. So uh, let me get, uh, let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. See what it uh, might look like. I might even make a video and share it with you guys. All right. So there's our key. Yeah, four wasn't all the way to the or all the way up uh, there, so I did have to pick it, which is a good thing. If it was a super trap, I don't think I'd have gotten that pin five. 
All right, so looking at the plug, you see threads in chambers one, two, three, and five. Four looks smooth, and I thought I could have sworn there was some counter milling in there from the feedback I was getting. Uh, well, shows to go you, I'm wrong just as often as I'm right, if not more. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these out of the top. Nice homemade spool. And chamber one was threaded. Nice serrated. Chamber two was threaded. Nice serrated spool. And chamber three is threaded. spring is barely barely there yep a little bitty shortened spring um looking closely it looks like one two three and five just like the uh, plug they're all uh they've all been modified as well so uh here we go I'll show you what albert has done with these pins because you can't see when i'm zoomed out that far There we go. Got a nice single serration here on one. And uh, this pin right here doesn't even show up on camera that well there, but uh, let me bring it in some. Focus. There we go. See those little serrations right there? Nice. Another uh, same type of thing going on on two is on one. And then we've got a nice double serrated i would actually call that serrated rather than spooled then a uh, same on three is on one and two then another one of those uh spools with serrations very nice then i've got the uh kind of serrated spool thing going on here on the uh, driver on pin four and that one is somewhat of an overset set trap. Kind of, uh, it's kind of stepping up and uh, there's little ridges there. So very nice. Same as uh, one, two, and three. And the driver here in five also. Look at those little focus frig. There we go. See those little micro serrations there. Very nice. Nice lock, Albert. Uh, great job, man. It kept me out for a good while. And, uh, well, Fast Charlie, thanks for sending it to me. I really appreciate it, buddy. Um, it was a fun lock, and I had a good time picking it. Put up a nice fight. So, everyone, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you see a lock out there in the open and it's not yours, just don't stick a pick in it.